a client has who has a cancer and immunosuppressed is being admitted to the hospital it would be best to assign the client to a room with each of these clients client with a CD4 cell count of 150 and hemoptysis, a client with pulmonary tuberculosis has been receiving a tuberculosis medication for five days, a client who has transurectal resection of the prostate 10 days ago and who has hemoglobin of 9, and a client who produces watery diarrhea and abdominal pain. I'm going to repeat the question. A client who has cancer and immunosuppressed is being admitted to the hospital. It will be best to assign the client to a room with each of these clients. A client with a CD4 of 150 and hemoptysis. A client with pulmonary tuberculosis who has receiving anti-tuberculosis and taking medication for five days. A client who had transuretral resection of the prostate 10 days ago and who has hemoglobin of level of 9. And a client who has profuse watery diarrhea and abdominal pain. So the answer is, my answer is number 3, a client who has transuretral resection of the prostate 10 days ago was hemoglobin of 9. Number 44. So the correct answer is uh, number 3. So I'm right. The client is least likely to transmit infection and infection to immunocompromised client because there is no indication of first infection and the client's low hemoglobin is not relevant to immunosuppressed client. Okay, so please subscribe to BGRM.